Want to learn Italian anywhere, anytime? Get the Innovative Language 101 app for free. Welcome to Italian Weekly Words. I'm Ilaria, and let's see what words are coming up today. Mm, today's theme is computer words. Oh my God, this sounds difficult. Let's see the first word. Computer portatile, laptop computer. We actually can also say just portatile, which means portable. Al lavoro uso sempre il portatile. At work, I always use my laptop computer. Let's go to the next one. Oh, oh. Okay, next word is cuffie. Cuffie is headphones or earphones. We don't actually make a difference between the two. Le mie cuffie si rompono sempre. My earphones always break. Yes, I need to buy earphones like every six months, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. What about you? Do you have the same problem? I just bought it yesterday, new one. <laughs> Next one. Schermo. Schermo. Monitor. Lo schermo del mio computer è pieno di impronte. My computer monitor is full of fingerprints. <laughs> what about yours? <laughs> and for the computer, we actually use sometimes the word monitor, which is the English monitor. Next word is stampante, printer. I love stampante, I love the printer. Vorrei tanto acquistare una stampante A3. I would really like to buy an A3 printer. Next word is tastiera, keyboard. È difficile usare una tastiera straniera perché non ci sono gli accenti. It's very difficult to use a foreigner keyboard because, because there are no accents. When you go abroad and you want to use a computer, I always have to look up on the internet for the accents and just copy paste them in my phrases. So complicated. Oh, here we go already. Oh, it's the end for today. Today's Italian weekly words. And let me know if Italian computer words sound strange to you because we use a lot of English words. What about the pronunciation? For me, it's very Italian. Like, it's me, Mario, but... <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments. Bye-bye. Hello, welcome to Italian Weekly Words. This is Ilaria and let's see today's theme. Hmm, in your wallet. <laughs> Il portafogli. Wallet is portafogli in Italian. Let's go to the first word. Biglietto da visita. Business card. Business card, ah. Mi dimentico sempre di portare i miei biglietti da visita con me. I always forget to bring my business card with me. I love the one with very nice designs. And also I love the fact that you can also print them online nowadays. It's so convenient. Next word is... Oh, carta di credito. Credit card. Credit card. <laughs> Mi piace fare acquisti online con la mia carta di credito. I love to do uh, shopping online with my credit card. But be careful, can be dangerous. Next word is patente di guida, driver's license. Patente di guida. Ho dovuto rinnovare la mia patente di guida recentemente. Recently, I had to renew my driver's license. Do you know that in Italy we have uh, this point system on our driver's license. Basically, when you get to zero points, you have to renew it and you have to go to driving school and do the exam, everything from the beginning. So be very careful when you drive in Italy. <laughs> Next word is coupon. Coupon, <laughs> we say the same. Ho vinto un coupon del 50% di sconto al supermercato. Evviva! <laughs> I won a 50% discount coupon at the supermarket. Lucky! <laughs> Next word. Tessera dei punti. Tessera dei punti? Stamp card. Oh yeah, we have so many tessera dei punti, so many stamp card in Italy. Mi piace collezionare molte tessere dei punti in vari negozi. I like to collect several stamp cards in many shops. In Italy, actually, you can get very nice prices if you collect, like, uh, nice dishes, glasses, like a whole set of stuff. My mother collects a lot of points. What about you? Next word. Oh, 
There is no next words. It's the end already. And today's theme was in your wallet. What do you have in your wallet? Except for money, of course. <laughs> Let me know. See you next time. Bye bye. Hello, welcome to Italian Weekly Words. This is Ilaria. Let's see today's theme. Today's theme is studying a language. Studiare una lingua. Sostantivo. Noun. Il tema della lezione di oggi sono i sostantivi. Today's lesson's theme is noun. It's not, by the way. Next word. Adjective. Aggettivo. Adjectives. Oh, in Italian we have so many adjectives. Ieri a lezione ho imparato 10 nuovi aggettivi. Yesterday, during the lesson, I learned 10 new adjectives. Verbo. Verb. Oh, verbs. In Italian, they're the most difficult part of Italian grammars, I guess. So, oh my God. Ho bisogno di esercitarmi nei verbi italiani. I need to practice my Italian verbs. Please, practice the verbs. Domanda. Question. Avete delle domande? Do you have any question? Lingua. Language. It also means... Mm -mm. Tongue. <laughs> Mi piacerebbe saper parlare cinque lingue. I wish I could speak five languages. <laughs> How many languages can you speak? Quante lingue sapete parlare? Oh, it's the end, actually. I hope you enjoyed today's theme. It was studying a language. So, studiare una lingua. And please, I hope you study Italian very hard. And let me know in the comments everything related to studying Italian. And see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello, welcome to Italian Weekly Words. This is Ilaria. Today's theme is medicine. Medicina. First word is antibiotico, antibiotic. Il dottore mi ha prescritto degli antibiotici. Doctor gave me antibiotics. Next word, aspirina, aspirin. Ho bisogno di un'aspirina per il mal di testa. I need an aspirin for my headache. In Italy, we mainly use aspirin for flu. We don't actually use it for many other symptoms. So flu, headaches, and that's it. Next word is medicina per il raffreddore. Cold medicine. Ho comprato le medicine per il raffreddore. I bought cold medicine. Next word is sciroppo per la tosse. Cough syrup. Uh -huh. uh. I remember when I was a kid, never... Never took it. The medicine I hate the most. Ugh. Anyway, i bambini non vogliono mai bere lo sciroppo per la tosse. Kids never want to drink the cough syrup. Next word is vaccino. Vaccine. Domani devo farmi il vaccino, ma ho paura. Tomorrow I have to get the vaccine, but I'm scared. Next word would be the end. It's the end already. So I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Bye bye. Blah, 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 blah. Hi, welcome to Italian Weekly Words. This is Ilaria. Let's see what today's theme is. Clothing actions. The first word is abbinare, match. Abbinare. Mi piace abbinare il viola con il blu. I like to match purple with blue. Next word is cucire, to sew. Io non so cucire. I cannot sew. Next word is indossare, to wear or to put on. Indosso i jeans ogni giorno. I wear jeans every day. Next word, lavare i vestiti, to wash clothes. Spesso lavo i vestiti a mano. Often I hand wash my clothes. Next one is provare, to try on. Non mi piace provare i vestiti. I don't like to try on clothes. Why? Because it's boring. It's a waste of time. I just want to buy them and bye-bye. <laughs> Next one. Oh, and we're done for today. And I hope you enjoyed and I'll be waiting for your comments in the comment section and see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Italian Weekly Words. This is Ilaria and today's theme is 
Oh, being sick. First word. Allergia. Allergy. In primavera soffro di allergia al polline. I have a pollen allergy and every spring I feel very sick. By the way, I don't have any allergy. I'm very lucky. Next word. Asthma. 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 Mio fratello fin da bambino ha l'asma. My brother, since he was a little kid, had asthma. Next word. Mal di stomaco. Stomachache. Quando bevo qualcosa di freddo, mi viene il mal di stomaco. When I drink something cold, I get stomachache. Mal di testa. Headache. Non soffro mai di mal di testa. I never suffer from headache. That's true, actually. Raffreddore. Cold. Ogni inverno prendo il raffreddore. Every winter I get a cold. And next word is, oh, it's the end. So, we're done for today. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Bye bye. Let's see what today is. Ciao. Welcome to Italian Weekly Words. This is Ilaria and let's go and see today's theme. Is, oh, <laughs> bugs and insects. I love bugs and insects, but maybe not so many people. <laughs> let's see the first insect. Oh, 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 bruco, caterpillar, bruco, 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 caterpillar. Non toccare il bruco, potrebbe essere pericoloso. Don't touch the caterpillar, it might be dangerous. Do you know they have some uh, poison in them, you know, those cute fluffy hair. <laughs> oh, lucky one. Do you guess what it is? It's coccinella, ladybug. Quando incontri una coccinella significa che sei fortunato. When you meet a ladybug, it means you are lucky. Next one. Ooh, I love this one. Formica. Ant. Il bosco è pieno di formiche. The woods are full of ants. Really full. Next one is... Mosca. Fly. Mio padre è molto bravo ad acchiappare le mosche. My father is very good at catching flies. <laughs> Next one. Oh, little creepy one even for me. Ragno, spider. Io adoro gli insetti, ma ho un po' paura di ragni. I love bugs, but I'm a little scared of spiders. That's true. Oh, the end. See you next time. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, leave some comments if you please. Bye bye. Sometimes spaghetti looks like worm. <laughs> I need to change. Oh, everyone wants to kill cockroaches. Why? <laughs> is this too violent? Ciao, this is Ilaria and welcome to Italian Weekly Words. Let's see today's theme, which is birds, uccelli, anatra, duck. Le anatre possono essere molto aggressive. Ducks can be very aggressive sometimes. I've been attacked by one. Corvo. Crow. In Italia i corvi sono considerati uccelli sfortunati. In Italy crows are bad luck. Gabbiano. Seagull. Quando vai a mare puoi vedere moltissimi gabbiani. When you go to the sea you can see so many seagulls. Gallo. Rooster. Kikiriki. Yes. In Italia il gallo dice kikiriki. In Italy The rooster says, Kikiriki! Gru crane. La gru è un animale simbolo del Giappone. Uh, cranes are a symbol of Japan. Oh, we're done. Basta, sono finiti gli uccelli per oggi. No, this is weird in Italian. Birds is a word for... Basta, abbiamo finito. We're done. Ci vediamo la prossima volta. See you next time. I hope you enjoyed. And write some comments below, please. Grazie. Ciao. Hello, ciao. This is Ilaria and welcome to Italian Weekly Words. Today's theme is crossing borders. First word, dogana, customs. I've been stopped at the dogana. Dogana, <coughs> dogana. Al ritorno dal mio viaggio da Roma, sono stata fermata alla dogana. On my way back from Rome, I've been stopped at the customs. Next one, nazionalità, nationality. 
Conosco molte persone di diverse nazionalità. I know many people of different nationalities. Next one, passaporto. Passport. It's very similar to English. Passaporto. Ho bisogno di rinnovare il mio passaporto. I need to renew my passport. Next word. Ah, visto. Sorry, I laugh at this one. Next word is visto. Visa. Non hai bisogno. No, hai bisogno. Non hai bisogno. Hai bisogno. Hai bisogno. Per visitare alcuni paesi hai bisogno di un visto turistico. To visit some countries you need a tourist visa. Carta d'ingresso. Entry card. Quando arrivi in un paese straniero, ottieni la carta d'ingresso. When you arrive to a foreign country, you obtain the entry card. Fine. The end. We're done for today. See you next time. I hope you enjoyed it and bye bye. Ciao. Ci vediamo. See you. Ciao. This is Ilaria and welcome to Italian Weekly Words. Today's theme is... Hygiene actions. Let's go to the first word. Asciugare con il phon. Hmm. To blow dry. Io non asciugo mai i miei capelli con il phon. I never blow dry my hair. It's true because they're too delicate for <laughs> the hair dryer. Next one. Fare i gargarismi. To gargle. Faccio i gargarismi. Tre volte al giorno. I gargle three times a day. Next one is fare il bagno, to bathe. Mi piace fare il bagno la sera dopo il lavoro. I like to bathe in the evening just after work. What about you? But actually in Italy most of the people actually take a shower, if I must say the truth. Bathing it's going out of fashion, I can say. <laughs> Next is... Lavare, to wash. In English you say, for example, brush your teeth. But in, it in Italian we say wash your teeth. Um, mi lavo i denti tutte le sere prima di dormire. I brush my teeth every night before sleeping. So in Italian it would be wash your teeth, remember. Next word. Pettinare, to comb. I capelli ricci sono molto difficili da pettinare. <laughs> wavy hairs, just like this, wavy hair are so difficult to comb. Seriously, ser seriously, hell. Next word is, oh, we're done for today. Oh, surprise, sorpresa. Oggi abbiamo finito le parole. Today the words are finished and see you next time. Um, please, leave the comments. I'll be waiting. Ciao, vi aspetto. Yes. Ciao! This is Ilaria and welcome to Italian Weekly Words. Today's theme is hygiene actions. Let's go to the first word. Asciugare con il phon. Hmm. To blow dry. Io non asciugo mai i miei capelli con il phon. I never blow dry my hair. It's true because they're too delicate for... <laughs> The hair dryer. Next one. Fare i gargarismi. To gargle. Faccio i gargarismi tre volte al giorno. I gargle three times a day. Next one is fare il bagno. To bathe. Mi piace fare il bagno la sera dopo il lavoro. I like to bathe in the evening just after work. What about you? But actually in Italy most of the people actually take a shower if I must say the truth. Bathing, it's going out of fashion, I can say. <laughs> Next is lavare, to wash. In English, you say, for example, brush your teeth. But in, it in Italian, we say wash your teeth. Um, mi lavo i denti tutte le sere prima di dormire. I brush my teeth every night before sleeping. So in Italian it would be wash your teeth, remember. Next word. Pettinare, to comb. I capelli ricci sono molto difficili da pettinare. Wavy hairs, just like this, wavy hair are so difficult to comb. Seriously, seriously, 
Hell. Next word is, oh, we're done for today. Oh, surprise, sorpresa. Oggi abbiamo finito le parole. Today the words are finished and see you next time. Um, please, leave the comments. I'll be waiting. Ciao, vi aspetto. Yes. Ciao, this is Ilaria and welcome to Italian Weekly Words. Today's theme is home tools, cacciavite, screwdriver. Non ho idea di come si usi un cacciavite. I have no idea how to use a screwdriver. Next word is livella, level. Non ho mai usato una livella in tutta la mia vita. I never used a level in all my life. Never. I didn't have a chance, actually. And by the way, there is a very famous poem in Italy called La Livella, the level. Check it out on the internet. Martello. Hammer. L'altro giorno mi sono fatta cadere il martello sui piedi. The other day I dropped a hammer on my feet. Ugh. Che dolore! It hurts! I did once, maybe. I remember something very heavy falling on my feet. Metro. Ruler. Ruler. Oh. Ci sono tantissimi tipi di metri e non so mai quale scegliere. There are so many types of rulers that I never know which one to use. Next one. Vite. Screw. Ho perso la vite dei miei occhiali. I lost a screw from my glasses. Have you ever had this experience? I hate it. One day you just have your glasses go like, like this. <laughs> Ciao. No, I didn't like this ending. I'll do it again. Next word is nothing. We're done. Abbiamo finito per oggi. Ci vediamo la prossima volta. See you next time. Ciao. Ciao, welcome to Italian Weekly Words. This is Ilaria. Let's see today's theme. Is, oh, direction words. First word. Davanti. Front. La banca è davanti all'ufficio postale. The bank is in front of the post office. Next one. Fuori, outside. Oggi fuori è molto freddo. Today is very cold outside. Next word. Sinistra, left. Non so scrivere con la mano sinistra. I cannot write with my left hand. hand. I cannot write with my left hand. Next word. Est. East. Il ristorante di cui ti ho parlato si trova a est della città. The restaurant I told you about is in the eastern part of the city. Next one is Ovest. West. La Spagna è a ovest dell'Italia. Spain is west of Italy. Next one. Oh, we're done. No more words for today. Abbiamo finito. Ci vediamo alla prossima puntata. See you in the next episode. Bye bye. Ciao. Ciao! Welcome to Italian Weekly Words. This is Ilaria. How are you today? Today's theme is mm, home electronics. Let's see. The first word is asciuga capelli. Hair dryer. Dopo lo shampoo non uso mai l'asciuga capelli. After washing my hair, I never use an hair dryer. That's true. Forno a microonde. Microwave. It's very long in Italian <laughs> compared to English. Forno a microonde. It will translate into microwave oven. We actually use the complete expression. Da bambina non avevo un forno a microonde. When I was a child, I didn't have a microwave. I remember in Italy we don't really like to use a microwave because there is the common... Um, knowledge that is not really good, doesn't make food really tasty. <laughs> Next word is frigorifero, refrigerator. Il mio frigorifero è pieno di frutta. Il mio frigorifero è pieno di frutta. My refrigerator is full of fruits. What do you have in your refrigerator? 
write it down in the comments in Italian. Televisore, television. Non ho un televisore a casa mia. I don't have a televisor, tele, sorry. I don't have a television in my house. Do you believe it? It's true. I don't watch television. Non guardo la televisione. Lavatrice, washing machine. Ho comprato una nuova lavatrice giusto ieri. I just bought a new washing machine yesterday. Finito. The end. That was the last word for today. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Ciao. Ciao. Welcome to Italian Weekly Words. This is Ilaria. Let's see. Today's theme is tourism. Turismo. First word. Autobus turistico. Tour bus. During the season in Italy, you can see many touristic bus, tour bus, tour bus, tour bus. Durante questo periodo in Italia si vedono molti autobus turistici. During this period in Italy, you can see a lot of tour buses. Turista, tourist. This is also very similar, the pronunciation. Turista and tourist. Se sei un turista e vuoi visitare l'Italia, Prova ad andare in Sicilia. If you're a tourist and want to visit Italy, please go to Sicily. I love it. It's beautiful. Visitare. To visit. Se andate in Sicilia, dovete assolutamente visitare l'Etna, il famoso vulcano. If you go to Sicily, you must absolutely visit uh, Etna, the famous volcano. Do you know that? It's erupting, actually, very frequently. It's a very nice, I mean, it's an amazing nature view. I mean, you cannot miss it. Volcano, Etna, eruption. If you go at night, you will see the black sky and uh, the bright red, you know, magma coming out of the volcano. It's so beautiful. Not dangerous, but don't go too close. Statua. Statue. The spelling is very similar, but the pronunciation is totally different. So in Italian is statua. Be careful with the pronunciation. I musei italiani sono pieni di statue antiche. Italian museums are full of ancient statues. Next word is chiesa, church. In Italia ci sono più chiese che persone. <laughs> in Italy, there are more churches than people. Of course, then that's not true, but that shows how many churches you have in Italy. Really, everywhere. <laughs> Next word is finito. It's the end. We are done for today. I hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Ci vediamo. Ciao. Touristic, but not touristic, tour bus. <laughs> <laughs> Hi and welcome to Italian Weekly Words. This is Ilaria and today's theme is geography. Oh my God, geography. I'm not good at geography. Cascata, waterfall. Quando ero bambina mi piaceva nuotare nelle cascate. When I was a child, I loved to swim in waterfalls. In small waterfalls, of course. <laughs> It's very relaxing. You can actually do it. Sometimes in Italy, in, uh, uh, when you go to the mountains, there is this small, beautiful, clean, pure water, waterfalls. So nice. Next one. Oh, montagna, you see? <laughs> Mountain. La mia stagione preferita per visitare la montagna è l'estate. My favorite season to visit mountains is summer. Fiume. River. Il fiume più grande in Italia è il Po. The biggest river in Italy is Po. It's a very simple name, but it's the name of the river. It's in northern Italy. Next one. Isola. Island. L'isola di Lampedusa è l'isola più a sud in Italia. Lampedusa Island is the most southern island in Italy. You should go. It's very beautiful, absolutely fantastic island, very close to Africa. And also the, the weather is almost African weather. It's a very nice place. Spiaggia, my favorite one. Spiaggia, beach. Oh, love it. Se potessi, andrei tutti i giorni in spiaggia. If only I could. I will go every day to the beach. Really, every day. Next one. Next, oh, we're done. No more words. Abbiamo finito le parole. So, I hope you enjoyed today's episode and see you next time. Ci vediamo. Ciao.
Ciao a tutti! Hello everyone! Welcome to Italian Weekly Words. This is Ilaria and today's theme is health concerns. Very serious theme today. Ferirsi, get injured. Mentre giocavo a pallavolo mi sono ferito a una mano. Mm, while I was playing volleyball, I got my hand injured. Mal di testa, headache. Non soffro spesso di mal di testa. Per fortuna. <laughs> I don't suffer from headache very often, luckily. Puntura d'insetto. Bug bite. Wow, this sounds scary. Una volta, dopo una puntura d'insetto, ho avuto una reazione allergica. Once after a bug bite, I got an allergic reaction. Prurito. Itch. Quando ero bambina, dopo aver mangiato le patatine... Ho avuto un prurito su tutto il corpo. When I was a kid, after eating many potato chips, I had a niche all over my body. <laughs> affaticamento, fatigue. Ho un affaticamento per la calura estiva. I have fatigue because of the summer heat. No next word for today, so we're done. We're finished. Uh, I hope you liked today's episode and see you next time. Ciao! Ciao, welcome to Italian Weekly Words. This is Ilaria. Today's theme is study subjects. In Italian would be materie, materie di studio. First one is storia. Oh my God. History. I don't like history. Please forgive me. <laughs> Quando studiavo storia, il mio periodo preferito erano gli antichi greci. When I was studying history at school, my favorite period was ancient Greek. Have you ever studied ancient Greece? In Italy, we actually studied because, you know, that's the root of Italian culture. Next one. Mm, chimica. Chemistry. I miei compagni di scuola sono terrorizzati dall'insegnante di chimica. My classmates are terrified by chemistry teacher. <laughs> I remember, yeah, my chemistry teacher was so strict. Oh my God, everyone was like, oh, she's coming, she's coming. Next word is informatica, computer science. All'università la lezione di informatica era la mia preferita. In college, computer science class was my favorite. Legge, law. Molti studenti in Italia scelgono di studiare legge. Many students in Italy choose to study law because when you study law, you can access to many, to several jobs, and you can earn a lot of money, actually. <laughs> This is my favorite, actually. It's lingue, which is language. As a study subject, you must say lingue uh, using the plural form, because uh, it actually comprehends the, um, the whole uh, grammar, um, intonation, Uh, the history maybe of that language. So this is the study subject. Then when you use singular, it's just a sing single language, for example, Italian, uh, Russian, French. This is true fact. All'università ho studiato lingue orientali. At university, I studied Oriental uh, Asia languages. Okay, so I'm gonna be waiting for your comments about your favorite Uh, study subject, ok? Scrivete nei commenti. Ciao! Ciao! Welcome to Italian Weekly Words. This is Ilaria. And today's theme is, oh, life events. Hmm. Let's see, I'm curious. Nascita, birth. When I was born. La nascita del mio terzo nipotino mi ha reso molto felice. The birth of my third nephew made me so happy, which is true. He was born just a few days ago. Mm. Compleanno. Mm. Compleanno. Birthday. Compleanno. Quando è il tuo compleanno? When is your birthday? Il mio compleanno è il 20 gennaio. My birthday is January 20th. Trovare un lavoro. Get a job. Dopo la laurea, uh, i ragazzi in Italia faticano a trovare un lavoro. After graduating a college, young people in Italy struggle to find a job. Hmm. Trasferirsi, move. Mi sono trasferita in Giappone molti anni fa. 
I moved to Japan many years ago. Yes, that's true. Andare in pensione. Retire. Okay. A mm, little bit early for me, but... Mm, quando andrò in pensione, metterò su una rock band. When I will retire, I will make a rock band. And I will do it one day. We're done. I hope you enjoyed it. And please leave a comment. And see you next time. Ciao, bye bye. Ciao a tutti. Welcome to Italian Weekly Words. This is Ilaria. And today's theme is ooh, at the aquarium. All'acquario. Scary one. Squalo. Squalo. Shark. Gli squali sono molto uh, rari nei mari italiani. Sharks are very rare in Italian sea. It's not common to, you know, to spot a shark in, when you are at the beach in Italy. And uh, people just go even very far from the shore. They, they just swim without thinking about sharks at all. Pee, 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 pee. What is this? What is this? It's <laughs> granchio, crab. Uh, due settimane fa sono stata pizzicata da un granchio. Two weeks ago I've been pinched by a crab. Ooh, it hurts so much, oh my god. Oh, polpo, octopus. Mm, some people also say polipo. Polpo or polipo. A volte in Italia puoi pescare i polpi anche a mani nude. Sometimes in Italy you can catch octopus even with just your bare hands. Yes, yeah, sometimes they just swim in shallow waters. You just go deep and just grab them. <laughs> and they're very, of course, small ones. They're very cute, so nice. Next one. <laughs> nice one. Calamaro. Squid. In Italia c'è un tipo di pasta che assomiglia agli anelli di calamaro. In Italy we have a type of pasta that looks exactly like squid rings. It is actually used to make a dish called calamarata which mixes this type of pasta and squid rings. So it's very funny, very playful type of pasta. Try it out. Medusa, jellyfish. Medusa è anche il nome di un personaggio mitologico. The Italian word for jellyfish, medusa, is also a mythological character. Snakes. Do you know the lady? It's a Greek myth, actually. The lady with snakes on her head. Yeah, that's called medusa actually, which means jellyfish, because she looks like a jellyfish. <laughs> Fine! There is no more, yeah, no more animals for today, no more animals at the aquarium. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Write down which is your favorite sea animal or aquarium animal. And see you next time. Bye-bye. I can do the seal. <clears throat> Ciao, welcome to Italian Weekly Words. This is Ilaria. Today's theme is housework. Strofinare, scrub. Devi strofinare per pulire il tavolo completamente. You must scrub to clean the table completely. Lavare, wash. Dopo mangiato, odio lavare i piatti. After eating, I hate to wash the dishes. Passare l'aspirapolvere. Vacuum. Big difference between English and Italian this time. Vacuum, very short, and passare l'aspirapolvere. It's a very long expression. The word for uh, the machine, the vacuum cleaner, is aspirapolvere. Then the expression is passare l'aspirapolvere. So to, how do you say, to give vacuum cleaner. Alcune persone non passano l'aspirapolvere di sera perché è troppo rumorosa. Some people don't vacuum at night because it's too loud. Buttare la spazzatura. Take out the trash. La spazzatura andrebbe buttata uh, di sera. Trash should be taken out at night. Yes, because otherwise it, it stinks. Spazzare. Sweep. <laughs> Dopo mangiato, il pavimento è pieno di briciole di pane e bisogna spazzare. After eating, the floor is full of cramps, so we need to sweep. We're done. No more housework for today. <laughs> so, see you next time. I hope you enjoyed. And ciao. 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 Ci vediamo. Ciao, 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 ciao. Ciao. So, we need to weep. Not get weep. Sweep.
Oh, yeah, it's full of... Ciao, welcome to Italian Weekly Words. This is Ilaria, and today's theme is... At the hotel. In un hotel. First word is letto singolo. Hmm. Single bed. Ho richiesto un letto singolo. I requested a single bed. Letto matrimoniale. Double bed. Ho bisogno di un letto matrimoniale per me e la mia famiglia. I need a double bed for me and my family. Servizio in camera. Room service. Questo hotel non ha il servizio in camera. Che delusione! This hotel doesn't have room service. I'm disappointed. Chiave. Key. Something that happens a lot. Ho perso la chiave della mia stanza! I lost my room key! It happens to me every time. Prenotazione. Reservation. Prenotazione. Ho bisogno di prenotare questo hotel per... Pronto, ho bisogno di fare una prenotazione. Hello, at the phone. Hello, I need to make a reservation. We're done. I hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Ci vediamo, ciao! Ciao! Welcome to Italian Weekly Words. This is Ilaria and today's theme is in an airplane. Nell'aereo. Aereo. Airplane. Quando sono in aereo, dormo tutto il tempo. When I'm on an airplane, I sleep the whole time. Really, I just get on the plane and fell asleep and bye bye, good night. Prima classe. First class. Non ho mai viaggiato in prima classe. I never traveled in first class. <laughs> classe economica. Economy class. Mm, we also use actually the English expression, for the, just the economy. We say, I travel in economy. Viaggio in economy. I sediolini nella classe economica sono molto stretti. Seats in the economy class are too small. You don't have any space. Next one. Hmm. Cintura di sicurezza. Hmm. Seat belt. The uh, literary translation would be security belt in Italian, actually. I bambini in genere non vogliono mai allacciare le cinture di sicurezza. Usually kids don't want to fasten their seat belts. Pilota. Pilot. I piloti degli aerei sono così affascinanti. <laughs> Airplanes pilots are so charming. Do you think so? It was the, the last word for today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and see you next time. Ciao! Tell me again. Ciao! Welcome to Italian Weekly Words. This is Ilaria and today's theme is sports. The first sport is pallacanestro. Basketball. Ho giocato a pallacanestro per un anno quando ero una bambina. When I was a child, I played basketball for one year. Next sport is volano, badminton. Actually, volano, yeah, of course, you can use it. But you can also use badminton and people will probably understand you. Per me, il volano è lo sport più difficile al mondo. For me, badminton is the most difficult sport in the world. Actually, really, I cannot catch the... <laughs> Where is the ball? Can you do it? I, I can't. Prossimo, next one is very popular one. The most popular sport in Italy is, yes, calcio, football. Not the American football, okay? Calcio is the one where you kick the ball. <laughs> calcio. Il calcio è lo sport più popolare in Italia. Uh, football is the most popular sport in Italy. Pattinaggio sul ghiaccio. Ice skating. Ah, the most beautiful sport in the world. <laughs> Adoro guardare il pattinaggio sul ghiaccio solo per i costumi. I love to watch ice skating just for the dresses. Very short word. Sci. Skiing. Non ho mai praticato lo sci perché non mi piace il freddo. <laughs> I never practice skiing because I don't like cold. Don't like it. We've done enough sports for today. We can take a rest and see you next time. 
Bye bye. Ciao. Get right this. So I take on all like karate everything. Ciao. Welcome to Italian Weekly Words. This is Ilaria. Today's theme is currency exchange. Let's see. Sounds difficult. Convertire. To convert. È un buon periodo per convertire gli euro in dollari? Is it a good period to convert euros in dollars? Just tell me. I don't know. Dollaro americano. United States dollar. Al momento l'euro è più forte del dollaro americano. At the moment, euros is stronger than United States dollar. So they say. Euro. Euro. Yeah, we pronounce it euro. Like... Europa, which is Europe. Mi piacciono molto i colori delle banconote dell'euro. I really like the colors of euro bills. Sterlina inglese, British pound. La sterlina inglese è sempre la più forte. Perché? The British pound is always the strongest. Why? Contanti, cash. Cash. Al giorno d'oggi molta gente non paga in contanti, ma usa una carta di credito. Nowadays many people don't pay in cash, they just prefer to use a credit card. Abbiamo finito! Non ci sono più parole, no more words for today. And ci vediamo la prossima settimana. See you next week. Ciao! Ciao, welcome to Italian Weekly Words. This is Ilaria and today's theme is... Family. La famiglia something very important for Italian people. The first word is figlio, son. Mio fratello ha tre figli maschi. My brother has three sons. Since in Italian when you use the plural form, even if you have, if you have sons and daughters, you will always use the male form, like figli in, in the plural form. So you have to specify, you have to say if they are male or females, that's why I said figli maschi, male sons, figlia, daughter. Quanto vorrei che i miei genitori avessero un'altra figlia. Volevo una sorella. I wish my parents had another daughter because I want a sister. As I said before, you just use the female form of figlio, which is figlia, nonno. Grandfather. I miei nipoti amano passare il loro tempo con il nonno. My nephews love to spend their time with their grandfather. Padre. Father. Padre, it's more formal word for um, papa. Papa is more like daddy, dad. So, mio padre è un progettista meccanico. My father is a machine designer. Madre. Mother. This one is formal too, so usually when you call your mother you wouldn't say madre, <laughs> you would say mamma. Le madri in genere sono più severe con le figlie femmine. Usually mothers are more strict with daughters. Don't you think so? Next word is... Oh, finito! Abbiamo finito! No more family for today! So, ciao famiglia and see you! Ciao!